What's going on YouTube? It's your boy T2Awesome, and today we're doing something different. One of our friends in the comments section, SixCandida.tv, he wants to see a Toronto Raptors rebuild. We have Start Today mode, but this time it's a little different. He wants to see a Patrick Baldwin Toronto Raptors rebuild, and that's an interesting move. I like Patrick Baldwin. Right now he's averaging about like 17 points, 8 rebounds, shooting 40% from 3. He's an interesting prospect. He went to Wisconsin, Milwaukee to play for his dad. Even though, I think he should have went to Duke, team up with my boy Paolo Banquero, Trevor Keels, Adrian Griffin Jr., who knows what would happen. That would have been a crazy team, but today, we'll go put him on our team. So right now, this first season, it doesn't matter. We're going to go ahead and sim to the end. It's a realistic rebuild. We're going to have injuries on. Everything's going to be on, so you can see right here. Trade logic, all that. I mean, these are off, so we could do three team trades and be able to trade rookies. You know, I would turn on the step in rule though, so that would be realistic. Injuries are there, like I said, play progression, regression. And as you already know, get through all that. We play on Hall of Fame, so there you go. But alright, I'll catch you guys at the end of the season, or not at the end of the season. Or if you guys want to see the stats, I'll show you that. But I'll see you guys at the draft lottery. And at the end of the season, we're 41 and 40. And that's just as you see, we just missed the playoffs. Well, playing tournament by two games. Looking at the player stats, Scotty Bonds ended up getting hurt in the middle of the season, ended up missing like four to six weeks. And honestly, he's gonna be the future piece for us. So Siakam did well for us, which is, which I like to see, so he'll be a good trade piece. Same with Fred Van Fleet. I got a couple ideas with them, where to trade them to. OG's here to stay. Gary Trent showed us that he could actually score. Precious is gonna be a good center for us, and then we ended up keeping Goran Dragic on the roster because people ended up getting hurt. So he ended up playing, not well, but he ended up playing. And then Delano Banton, yeah, he's here to stay. 6'9 point guard. His per 36 numbers look amazing. So we're going to see what we could do with his team in the future. But for now, we on to the offseason. Like I said, we're focused on the draft lottery. We got to go get our boy Patrick Baldwin Jr. All right, so here we are now. Draft lottery, we're projected the 12th pick. We need some luck because he's honestly a highly rated prospect. So honestly, we might even have to do a couple trades. Yeah, we're stuck there at pick 12. Pistons, Rockets, Spurs. We're going to see where we can end up getting him. Because if we look over here at the mock drafts, they have him going around. Wow. Ty, Ty Washington. Okay. They have him going around the sixth pick. Let's see. What is they have him going over here? They have him around the eighth pick. Sixth pick. So it looks like we have to move up pretty high. Wow, now looking at the mock drafts right before the draft, they have him going third. Okay, Rockets, do not do this to me. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. We're going to make the trade for him if he gets selected that high, but please don't do this to me. By the way, you guys like the draft screen? Yes, sir. Shout out 2K Specialist. Chet home game first overall to the Pistons. All right. Hopefully he doesn't go. And he went second. Okay, well, um... This is going to be an interesting trade to do. Second overall. Okay, we'll give you the 12th pick. And honestly, on our roster, you guys can take... Sakayuk would take 5 million more. Okay, we need to get rid of a few more people. Not a problem, not a problem. I'm trying to give it a cap. Kem Birch would be nice to give them. And we're going to do that. This is the second overall pick, too, so we're going to have to mortgage a little bit of future. I'm not going to give them a 2023 pick. I give them a 2024 top five protected, and I'll give them another. Dang, 2026. This is a lot. I'm not going to lie. But like I said, we're going to do this. We're going to try to keep this realistic. This is something that would happen. Here we go. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's get it. We're going to continue out the rest of the draft, though, because I'm the commissioner or the watcher, and. I'm going to approve some of these trades, reject some of them, make sure the league doesn't go into some real nonsense. J. 
Jalen Duran to the Kings, valid pickup. Okay. I forgot. I'm supposed to be trading right now. So let's see. If I was to trade Fred Van Fleet for. I think the Mavericks. Ooh. Okay. They can't trade back to back picks. Dang it. Why did I just turn that rule back on? Because the Mavericks could take Pascal Siakam, actually. But, okay. There's another move I have in mind, too, so... Okay, we're going to let the draft play out a little. And then we'll make a move, because I have an idea. And he fell all the way to pick 10. I wasn't even paying attention. Wow. Okay. Wait a second now. Nah, they're not going to do that. That's a good pick. That's a good pick. They wouldn't do that. That's not realistic. Okay. There's somebody else I want in this draft. One more person. And I'm going to wait till they get picked. Oh, right here. This is actually good. If they could do this trade right here, then they should do this trade. Like, Timberwolves, give me pick 16. I'll glad you, I'm gladly give you Pascal Siakam. 35 million. Not a problem. Not a problem. We'll take... I guess Michael Beasley for Michael Malik Beasley for a year, and you need one more. You don't got the cap for that. Okay, that's not gonna work out right there. Never mind there. No way they trading Clay, especially not for that. Come on now, let's let's be real. Gordon Hayward to the Grizzlies for that. Hmm. All right. We'll let this one rock. And then, hold up. Don't make the pick. Because if you guys didn't pick yet, I'll make a trade with you right now. You guys can use Pascal Siakam. Yes, and this works out. What else do you guys have on the roster? I mean, Kelly Oubre would be cool, but nah. And I'll take this pick right here too. And I want a future pick to give back, uh, to make up for what we gave up earlier. So if you guys could give us a 2024. No, not that one. All right, give us, to oh, not that one either. Okay, then I guess we'll take a bunch of seconds for now. For Pascal Siakam. All right, so it's a decent move. Just clear up some cap space. Give the reign to uh, Scotty Barnes. We're trading Pascal Siakam for the 20th pick. And all these first because they can't seem to trade back to back first round picks, but it's all right. What? Wow, okay. Mahjong Blue Champ. That's what you guys really wanted. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Terry Rozier for this pick. Interesting move. I left this rock. I'm gonna try to trade with you guys again, bro. Yo, we'll try this one more time. I just don't see how you guys don't like this trade. We're giving you somebody that's perfect to play with LaMelo. And you guys are telling me no. Okay, that's wild. That's wild. PJ Washington... Yo, we're going to keep trying. <laughs> this is going to be some cheese, but we're going to keep trying this, okay? Because I want to draft this person. And I also want to get rid of Pascal Siakam. So it would be a win-win situation for everybody if this team really just helps me out. Like, right now, this is this value is a steal. And you guys want me to get... I don't want Daniel Tice. Matter of fact, who you got on roster? Give me running carry and it's a deal. No, bro. All right, there we go. So we finally got rid of Pascal Siakam, and I want to go ahead and draft. Ooh, Wendell Moore is still here. I didn't expect that, but I want to draft his teammate. Somebody that has a lot of upside, hopefully, and because his dad's part of this organization, Adrian Griffin Jr. Hopefully, Wendell Moore gets drafted in the first round. I'm sorry I had to snake you like that, my boy. Thunder received that for Ken Birch. Nah, sorry. 
after I let you know 30 trades go through so I can make a trade, but hey. Trevor Keels is what 29th pick and then come on get my boy Kendall Moore with the last pick come on come on Mark Williams no I hey if he's there for us we're taking him and no the Spurs got him good pickup on their end Dyson Daniels Brandon Huntley Usman Jane that would have been a good pickup for us right there but I right, this should still be Nikola Jovic is still here Isaiah Mobley, we might need a big, but Matthew Cleveland, Fenbo, Matthew May, Marcus Bagley. I don't know if I could pass up Jovic. Ah, yeah, we are going Jovic. Sim to end. All right, so there we go. We got Patrick Baldwin Jr. The Spurs really screwed us over, taking him second overall, making us have to do tra uh, trade and, you know, giving up assets for it. But it's alright. We're doing this for the rebuild. I got you, Canada.tv. We're doing this. Alright, so next what we want to do is we're probably going to have to give up Fred Van Fleet. And honestly, a team that could use Fred Van Fleet is the Dallas Mavericks. And I'm willing to do just, you know, a little cap space relief for him. So if you give us Kleber, Kleber. Oh, he's expired. Okay, never mind. Um, Reggie Bullock, I guess. And if you throw in a pick. No, you can't do that. If you give us a pick. Oh, okay. Give us this pick. And honestly, it'll be a fair deal on my end, I say. Excessive amount on the point guard spot. Okay. Well, we'll fix that right now. We're going to go ahead and go over here. We're going to make you a shooting guard real quick, my friend. All right. Because they're bugging right now, acting like they don't need you over there. So, Fred Van Fleet, you went down a lot in overall. Hopefully, that doesn't matter in this trade. So, let's say we say uh, Dwight Powell. Is he Canadian? I feel like he's Canadian. I don't know. Don't quote me on that, but I think he is. And then go ahead and give us this pick right here. And what do you guys say? At the shooting guard. Okay. I, I Hey, take a second. Take a second. All right, here. We have... I might have to give up Matt Flynn, I mean Malachi Flynn, to be honest. All right, what if I just did this then? No, and I, and I gave you a pick. All right. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine. Ah, uh, yeah, we definitely want to go into come uh, into the next season with another center. We're not gonna win anything. Definitely not gonna win at all. So, uh, so can we get a point guard? I think a good point guard to get right now. Hmm. Because we don't want to suck, really. I mean, we want to suck, but we don't want to suck, suck. So, to keep us in. Playoff contention. I guess we get all the depot for one year, a one year like prove it type of deal. If you'll take a 12.5. Do we have any free agents by the way? Boucher. I I might let him walk to be honest. I mean, no, no, we need a backup big. So there we go. You could come back. I'm um, back. Load that. Three years. Nah. Leave this flat. Six years with the team option at the end of that. And all right, what do you guys say to this contract? All right, there we go. Alright, so it's not bad. This lineup isn't bad. We're gonna move you over to point guard. So we now have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And let's say I do want another big who's out here, who's out here. Tristan Thompson's from Canada too. So hey. We're not gonna pay you that much. You're at the end of your you know career so if you'll take this what do you say to that how much how much are you going to take like is that 92 all right so we can get you for cheaper than that let's do that real quick we're going to negotiate bring you there two year front load that matter of fact we want three year with team option on that i'd be cool with that one too bring you in for 675 what do you say to that oh tristan don't play games now All 
I bet. So now we got Tristan Thompson. We got a veteran on our team. And honestly, we already got a ton of people for next season. So we're just going to bring back Justin Champagny. And there we go. We got our team. But let's, uh, let's see. Move over to player progression now. Scotty Barnes. He got hurt. So I'm, that's why he didn't really improve. So we're going to give him a untapped potential. Definitely got to give one over to Precious and Patrick Baldwin. They're going to be our future. Adrian Griffin, actually. He's pretty low down there. So I'm going to give him a untapped potential. Whoa, we can't be getting hurt in Summer League, my guy. All right, training camp, like I said, untapped potential. Scotty, we need you to level up. You're going to be the leader of this team now. Next, OG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need OG, actually, to step up. Those two are definitely going to be the one-two punch of our team. And then, like I said, I wanted to get Patrick Baldwin, but they're rookies. We know what they're going to do. They're definitely going to improve next season. Precious, if we can get you to improve too, now that you're going to be our starting center. And then Tristan Thompson, we could do player mentorships, but I'll save that for like a series, really. Not really going to do it right now for rebuilds, but this is the lineup. Whoa, this is not the lineup. Go move you there. Patrick Baldwin off the bench. Nah. Gary Trent, you go come off the bench for now. We want our, you know, second overall pick to start. And he can shoot. Yeah, he can shoot. He's definitely playing. Scotty minutes. Victor, you're an improve it type of year. So you got 31. Then off the bench, I'm going to give Malachi because he's with us from the beginning. 15 minutes too. Jovic and Adrian Griffin. Griffin, I'm going to send to the G League. Jovic. Who are you going to replace next season? You might replace one of these two if it comes down to a trade. So, all right. I didn't give you 29. Go over here. Shoot at world. We definitely got the people to play physical defense. Scoring options. I want Scotty Barnes to be the first. Second could be Patrick Baldwin. And then after that, it's just up in the air. So hopefully this one-two punch right here is going to get us to the championship. With us a championship. Come on. Do you see this team? This ain't no championship team. The playoffs, I mean. Get a little experience for our guys. And then we'll move on from there. And just like that, the main guy, the video guy, he gets hurt. He's out four to six weeks. We're going to have to replace him. What was he doing before he got hurt, at least? 12 points, four rebounds, four assists, one steal. The shooting, I thought you'd be a shooter, but hey, hopefully that'll improve. In the meantime, hmm, we'll throw Jovic in there because I put him in there when Delano Banton got hurt for a week. Not pretty results, but we could work with it. We'll see what happens. Oh, sheesh, we put him in starting lineup, and this is what he did? What did you do as a starter? 13 points, 5 rebounds, 5 assists, 44. Still can't shoot, but hey, I like the numbers. But unfortunately, Patrick Baldwin's back, and he's the title of the video, so we're putting him back in the lineup. And he's out of the lineup. Okay, Jovich, matter of fact. Hey, don't go too far. All right, we're stopping at the contract extension. We're going to re-sign Malachi Flynn to another three years. We'll give him, you know, some money. Let him ball out here. What's he doing, actually, before I give him that money? Ah, right, yeah, we'll give him that money. Let him ball out here for a few more years. Anybody else want to come back? What are you doing right now, Old Depot? Now, not a great prove it year, but hey. The assists are the most since 2018, so I can't complain. But look at the bottom. You see, we made playoffs. This team was still able to compete with, you know, us trading away Precious and Fred Van Fleet. We're going to go ahead and check in on them, honestly, to see what happened with them. And I forgot. I was supposed to trade, for, I mean, not trade, move Fred Van Fleet back to point guard for them. Because his overall went down by three. He ended up starting the majority of the games. But for his overall sake, I'm going to help them out. And now let's go take, uh, check on our boy over here on the Hornets. Siakam. Ooh, interesting team now. But Siakam, what did you do? 17 points, 8 rebounds, 5 assists. So look at that. Everybody ended up working out. I said everybody ended up working out. Everything ended up working out for everybody. We're about to make the playoffs right now. We're the fourth seed. And we go ahead and look at our player stats. Scotty Barnes. 
19 points, 8 rebounds, 2 assists, 1 steal, shooting 49%, 48%, uh, 31 from 3. And then Patrick Baldwin, he's going to step up next season. I can see it right now. 14 points, 4 rebounds, 4 assists in his rookie year is pretty well. Victor Oladipo, OG Ananobi did his thing. He played defense, I already know. Shot pretty well. I like that. Way better than he did last season. Gary Trent Jr. off the bench. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, man. Um, uh, We found your replacement. Double, double. Uh, that's what I like to see. And 16% from three. That means you were attempting threes this season. Four of 25. Okay. Yo, which ended up playing, like I said. Didn't expect him to. Delano Banton. Not bad. We started him. He do pretty well. Same with Malachi Flynn over here. Tristan Thompson off the bench. I didn't need him to do anything but rebound, and that's what he did, as you can see. And now Adrian Griffin, our guy in the G League. What did you do? Uh, uh, uh. There we go. 18 points, 8 rebounds, 3 assists, 3 steals, 3 blocks. Okay, we're getting a monster next season. That's what I like to see. Joel Embiid's your MVP. Rookie of the Year is Chet Holmgren. Oh, okay. Kevin Love is your sixth man of the year. They actually got him playing. Like, oh, and he, okay, okay, Kevin Love. Ja, most improved player. But that doesn't matter. We're here for the playoffs. We actually made it. Sim the playing tournament. We're facing our Atlanta Hawks who have Josh Hart this time. Okay, that's interesting. And the same team, Jalen Johnson's there, Anyeka. All right, so we could beat this team, honestly, if you like. And like, hey. I just said it, and it happened. Jaden Springer, Trevor Keels, how'd you do? Mm. All right, he shot three. He shot the three. He did well. Tyrese Maxey, Seth Curry. This team, though, hmm. I don't think we could beat this team. Yeah. Game seven, we ended up losing to them. We're going to come back around next season. Like I said, we got our... Ooh, that went down to a game seven, too. Sheesh. Next season, we got our secret rep and Adrian Griffin joining the team, so we're not worried about that. There we go. NBA draft. We got to pick... Like I said, um, we could make a trade with Gary Trent Jr. if we really wanted to. But we're going to let the draft play out, see what happens. Imani Bates, mini KD, ended up joining OKC. That's hilarious. I didn't even mean to accept that trade. I did it by accident. So they traded a third overall pick for Colin Sexton. We're going to act like that didn't happen, okay? Hey! It was the Spurs that makes up for me taking away Patrick Baldwin then. Scooter Henderson to the Clippers. Hey, okay, okay. My boy's killing it in the G League. We're going to have to draft him one day. Amari Bailey to the Magic. Juan Nunez. He got drafted pretty early. Dior Johnson. So Amari Bailey, Dior Johnson, Cole Anthony, Jalen Suggs, Markel Foltz, and then uh, RJ Hampton. I don't know what's going on there. Aaron Fox to the Pelicans for what pick? Pick 11. You know what? The shake up the league. Nah, nah, nah. They just won. What am I saying? Whoa, whoa, whoa. They just won. Nah. Now to my Knicks to shake up the league. Okay. Hey. Let's, now we talking. We could do that trade right there. And they want Sky Clock. So they replace them with another Kentucky point guard. Makes sense. There we go. That would have been a steal if he ended up falling to us, but we're still a few picks away. Evan Fournier, they want to pick back because they thought, you know, this was a foolish trade. Mm, no. Yo, this kid in college is OD. Like, I got to see what's going to happen to him come draft time. If he declares who drafts him, what's going to happen with them? Because his, I don't know, bro. 6'7", 300 pounds, but he plays like a monster. Shakur O'Neal, a hey. Ah, we on the board. We got options. Kijani Wright is still there. Brandon Miller, Ammon Thompson. I mean, like I said, we got to look at our lineup. Vincent. Uh, nobody that really screams out draft me. Cameron Fletcher's there. Sharif's here, but he's definitely going to be there in free agency if we want to sign him. But looking at some trades right now, if we would trade this, oh, we can't trade, so we have to draft. Okay. Well, 
Gary Trent Jr. is more than likely going to accept this player option. So let's see if we get a you know replacement for him. Harrison Ingram, I'm good. Good there. Ammon Thompson, welcome to the team. So he ended up being a 75 overall. We got a steal. Yo, the Raptors, when it comes to drafting, they're amazing. Um, we're going to decline definitely that 10 million. 2.3s here, 4.3s there. All right. So we're going to treat this as a three team trade because I just had an idea. All right. Since I let that go through by accident, we're going to go ahead and we're going to find Colin Sexton because, yo, Colin Sexton on this team with Scotty Barnes. I'm not sure if you guys saw over the summer them training together. Those two together are a crazy duo. So we're going to team them up right now. I mean, I have to find him first. I remember a team. Was it the Spurs? Ah, I found him. He's on the Houston Rockets. I just remembered. Wait, my boy Jalen Green. Okay, okay, okay. But they drafted this dude third overall last year, Ty Ty Washington. This dude, I said this dude. It's Ty Ty Washington. You see the numbers 14 points, five assists as a rookie. They probably want to play him and Jalen Green together. Probably gonna bring back Kevin Porter Jr. Like I said, we're gonna well, sorry, we're gonna say this is a three-team trade. So Colin Sexton, what up, my brother? We can give you Gary Trent. To be honest, like I said, that'll be a fair trade right there. So we also can throw in. I like Malachi Flynn, but you know, tr fair trade value. I mean, this is kind of fair right here. What do you guys say to an even swap? Straight up, actually. No, okay, I didn't think so. So, you know, we're giving them a point guard in return. We give you guys Malachi Flynn, and you guys say no. All right, y'all bugging now. Y'all bugging, y'all bugging. The only other person I give up is Chris, and I'm not really sure if I do that. So I'll throw in one pick. I can't even throw in that pick. My guys. All right, who do we have right here that's a free agent? Who's coming back to the team? Dwight Powell? You're getting traded over there, bro. So now they, I don't know what's going on. What are they doing? Alright, this is definitely going to go through. This has his fair trade value 3 for 1. Gary Trent Jr., Malachi Flynn, and Dwight Powell for Colin Sexton. Don't play me now. Alright, there we go. So now we're teaming up Colin Sexton and Scotty Barnes. Like, like I said, if you guys saw that video over the summer, those two together as a duo, the intensity, it's scary. Alright, so after that trade now, looking at the lineup, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We got a 9 man lineup already, so we're set. Who's playing the 2? You're playing the 2. I mean, we don't really have another backup point guard out there per se, but that's why Scotty Barnes did play point guard at Florida State and at Mount Verde Academy, so he'll run some point guard. Colin Sexton's gonna run point guard. And I know Jovic has ball handling capabilities, so He'll be a play initiator. All right, here's the lineup for the next season. We have Colin Sexton at the one, Patrick Baldwin at the two, OG and Anobi at the three, Scotty Barnes starting at the four, Precious Achua at the five, Adrian Griffin Jr. running the six-man position off the bench. You got Tristan Thompson, Chris Boucher, Jovic, and then I gave Delano Banton minutes off the bench since you know he can play point guard. And Delano Banton, Delano Banton breaks his leg for six to eight weeks. So I guess it's Isaiah Thomas time or we're going to see what happens in the next few games. And if it's bad, then we're going to just go to a nine man lineup. But it looks like it's working. So Isaiah Thomas back in the league. Ooh, right before playoffs, Chris Boucher breaks his right ankle six to eight weeks. What were you doing off the bench? Pretty decent. That's why we got a boy Justin Champagny ready to come into the game right now. How many more weeks? Oh, we right there. So, all right, we're just going to watch this out real quick. Perfect. Oh, I thought we could end it off on a perfect streak, but we lose two games. And look at that. We're 58 and 23 in the standings. What is that? That's first. Oh, I was about to say in the NBA, but of course, the Dallas Mavericks. They got Jaden Hardy and Luka. I mean, come on now. KP's finally balling out for them. Moses Brown stepped up. Fred Van Fleet. Oh, man. My boy is cooking off the bench for them. Wow. I forgot. 
All right, we got to face them. We have to. We have to. But looking at our player stats, Colin Sexton is averaging 20 points per game, 19.9. But, you know, 20 points per game, four assists. He's doing well in his first year in Toronto. Scotty Barnes, 18 points, seven rebounds, three assists, one steal. I thought he would get more blocks, but he didn't. But he's hitting 50% of his shots, 33 from three. And I like that. Patrick Baldwin, 15 points, four rebounds, six assists. Wow, let me find out he's the point guard of our team, really. That is crazy. Six assists from our 6'9 small forward slash shooting guard. Well, he is running our shooting guard spot. Adrian Griffin off the bench, 12 points, five rebounds, two assists. You know, your dad's on the team, making him proud right now. And good, because OG Ananobi, 10 points, four rebounds. He shot okay, but it is contract year. We do have somebody that could replace you. It might be OG's final season here in Toronto. Presta Achiwa, of course, improving each year. 11 points, 11 rebounds, one assist, one block. Look at that, 60%. And he improved from 29, I mean, from 19%. He's at 21% on how many attempts? 7 to 33? That's what I like to see. Jovic off the bench is averaging 8 points, 3 rebounds, 3 assists, 50%, 33 from 3. And then who we got? We got Delano, of course, off the bench. Hey, he may be the person just to replace uh, OG and Anobi just step up. Seven and a half rebounds, eight rebounds off the bench, my guy. Calm down in 17 minutes. Calm down, Tristan. Sheesh. Isaiah Thompson. There you go. You ready to see? Oh, we faced them right. Yo. Can we catch a uh, quick W real quick? Please, 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 please. Okay. Now we gotta smoke them in the finals. Luca's your MVP. Victor Rembanyana is your rookie of the year over on the Pacers. They probably did a fire sale. Probably not. It's 2K. Benedict Mathurin, six man of the year over. Wow. That's really good numbers. I'm going to have to draft him one day. Giannis Antetokounmpo, LaMelo most improved. It's funny because Ja run most improved. And then now LaMelo, the rising guards. Like to see that. Jason Kidd. Ah, man. Wish that was us. But it's all right. Did we get anybody on any of the NBA teams since, you know, we did really, really well? No, of course not. It's cool. It's cool. You know, it's not like we were the second best team in the NBA. But it's all right. We don't really care about that because we care about winning right now. First round, we're taking on the Detroit Pistons. A hey, Scotty versus Cade. When they got Kyrie. Okay, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. All right. We're going to have to go um, game by game for this one. I, I ain't going to lie. I don't trust 2K right now. I don't trust 2K. Look at this, bro. They got Killian Hayes starting now. Did Kyrie get hurt? That means it don't matter. It looks like. Oh, come on. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. We're number one. Bro, we're first. Like, we're first. What do you. We're the first. Wow. Wow. Okay. And of course, the Mavericks. Okay. The Mavericks went on the win because we couldn't do our job. We failed. You got to stay. But now we got to go get Colin Sexton back, of course. And Jovic and Precious. And, okay, all right. All right. Last season really might have been the time to win. Book's a free agent. Carl Anthony Towns is a free agent. Jalen Brown. Can we make a move? Oh, we got... We got cap? Wait, wait, wait. Don't tell me we got cap. Don't tell me we have cap. You're going to start. I said you're going to start, but wait a second. No matter what you're starting. Oh, we can make a move. We got to make a move right now. All right, Precious, you got to come back, I guess. You can start. James Wiseman capped out at an 80 right there. He probably kept getting hurt because there's no way Precious should be higher. Anyeka, too. Sheesh. Okay. Okay. We can make moves. We can really, we can really up our bench this season. Siakam, he did well, but I. Right. DeRozan. I'm... I gotta bring back the Rosen. I have to. No matter what, I'm bringing back the Rosen. No, but no. Come on now. Josh Giddy, they didn't. They just released you? Okay, so I'm signing Giddy. So I can bring you back. So for this, you think about it. You're doing this for the good of the team, bro. We can get you at 23. We get you at 23. All right, so that leaves us with another 54. We're going to get back Giddy. Jalen Brown wants to team up with these defensive beasts. Like, they're not offering him a contract. 
they have oh we have his brother matter of fact we think about it as a sign and trade we'll send you his brother bro we got you right now so Jalen Brown you're gonna come here for four years bring this down everybody's doing this for the good of the team because so maybe did you get hurt that season maybe that's why they're not really trying to pay you nah they're just they're just dumb okay cool 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 and the last but not least like I said if they're just gonna release Giddy we gotta sign Giddy and we can still bring back Precious oh we can still bring back most of the squad oh man oh man as long as Precious doesn't get an offer we're good if Lamelo becomes unrestricted wait they're gonna match that I'm gonna watch next season same with Anthony Edwards yo wait yo wait don't do this to me don't do this to me okay hold on here's what we're gonna do we got these people right here we're watching we're watching okay they signed him back in Anthony Edwards yo hold on they have to match that right they're gonna match Anthony Edwards right Jalen Brown I gotta watch I got to I gotta watch I just gotta see what's gonna happen Jalen Brown precious no can we match I want to try this but if they release Anthony Edwards I'm gonna be upset all right good 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 it was a whoo our man Thompson we're gonna bring you I'll take Nolan's in the role because remember I said I was gonna do like a little sign and trade almost so you guys could keep him we'll take Nolan's in the role to play center off the bench and then and with the money to be cleared by trading away Nolan's in the role we now able to sign DeMar DeRozan to a one-year contract we have to renounce them the, uh, the rights on Nikola Jovic but it's DeMar DeRozan we have to we got him get him a ring so DeRozan you gotta go here fortunately my friend you're gonna be coming off the bench shooting guard you can play some power forward too you gotta get your jersey number 10 back it's only right it's only right and all right for the final season we have colin sexton at the point jalen brown at the two patrick baldwin at the three scotty barnes at the four precious achu at the five the big pickup this season was jalen brown bro and then we also able to go out and sign josh giddy i don't know why the thunder would release him at all like look at these attributes 80 look at the passing this passing is going to be very very good for this team 93 consistency hey we'll take that adrian griffin jr is there off the bench then we brought back demar DeRozan. it was only right you know we had to then cruz boucher really hunting gomez getting the power forward minutes and center minutes off the bench brought in his brother here we go here's the squad right now like i said i think this team's gonna win easily we have to we have to we're the best team player options i was thinking about it i don't know who i want to be the best so we're just gonna leave this the same whatever happens happens we're gonna sim the rest of the season hopefully injuries doesn't kill us this year but all right i'll catch you guys at the end and uh, that's the day today all right i'll catch you guys at the end and all right we're 57 24 that gotta be the best come on that gotta be the best no way bro what is everybody on this season what oh you probably did amazing because you've been in g league for like five years yeah kelly Oubre made his return you guys don't know this is the team that originally drafted him jalen johnson you're probably doing well now pacers who y'all supposed to be rebuilding y'all y'all did get rid of some bonus and turner okay but kept levert interesting 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 but all right Looking at our player stats, Jalen Brown came in and led the way. 50, 40, 80, 21 points though. Colin Sexton right there with 20 points too. Four assists, 50, 37, 75. Patrick Baldwin, 15, well, 14 points. Wish it was 15. But look at that, 40% from three, showing that he is the shooter that, you know, everybody projected him to be coming out of college. Isaiah Thomas, the little bit of time he did, he did well. Scotty Barnes, I didn't make him the first scoring option, and this is what happened. I mean, I'm not mad. 57% is amazing. Look at where he's shooting before. But I wish he, you know, he wished the uh, broke the 20 point per game barrier. 11 points, 9 rebounds. I mean, 10 rebounds. 29%. We can round that up to 30. And he was shooting more. Okay. 
Adrian Griffin off the bench. I'd expect him to do crazy because we have a lot of wing players now. DeRozan in his return. Valid. Josh Giddy off the bench. Nine points, four rebounds, four assists. 50 40. Wish he shot free throws, but like I said, I don't know why they released them. And then here we go. They just got rebounds like I needed them to. But all right. Let's go into the playoffs. We got to win now. It's finally time. Bayfall, Rookie of the Year, Benedict Mathurin. None of this matters, bro. If it's a most improved player, Nikola Jovic, we let you go and then you broke out. And of course, you found your way to the Spurs, of all teams. But all right. Any all NBA? I don't expect anybody to be here for us, to be honest. And nah. Nobody was. Not even there. Oh, Jalen Brown, all defensive second team. All right, bet we did. But all right. Sim passed this. Guys, do not. Come on now. We're facing Philly. Who they have? Ben. Isaiah Joe, Trevor Keels. Yeah, nah, I think we can knock this team out. Okay. Already we lost that first game, and I'm going to have to, you know, do game by game now. Because there's no way, no way, no way, no way, no way. No way. No way. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. 2K, don't do this to me. 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 I was, don't do this to me. We assembled the squad. Don't do this to me. Wow. Alright. Alright. We're going to make this comeback. We're going to make this comeback. A 3 0 comeback. Alright. Because 2K. Y'all really just. Ah. I don't, even, I don't got words for this one. If we really make a 3 0 comeback, that's going to be crazy. Uh oh. Two K. Don't. Wow. And just like that, I'm not gonna play it. We're gonna watch this. Uh, watch the computer do it. But wow, y'all really let me come back from three yo. I mean, it's not over. Maybe the computer could still hit some shots right now, but wow, I'm a little disappointed right now. All right, we're down by 12. Two minutes left in the game. Who do they have out there? They have a lot of, you know, they got no center out there, I guess. Scotty Barnes is running center. Draylon Brown's running center. Okay, and he almost had that layup on Joel Embiid. That would have been crazy, but this was a fun rebuild. Definitely did not go the way expected. So many unexpected things happened, like Jalen Brown not signing back. Kind of crazy. Patrick Baldwin getting selected second overall and us having to trade some assets definitely was not expected either. That was nobody's expecting that. But hey, we're up for the challenge. I like doing some prospect rebuilds. If you guys have anybody else you guys would like to see, let me know down below. And DeRozan in his game back. Hey, getting some points. Dunking as usual. It wouldn't be DeRozan if he wasn't dunking over here. But I right, like I was saying, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and comment down below. Like I said, let me know if you guys want to see any other prospects or just any other team ups in general. I'd be down for it. But alright, it's your boy T2Awesome and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. that went the distance you have to admire how they were able to close it out here as the time winds down yeah well you, you never know going into a game seven like this who is going to rise to the occasion i think they showed they had exactly what was needed that extra grit and grind to fight for the win fight for the series and, and congratulations are definitely in order and beyond the actual result of this game fans are going to look back and, and
can see this was just a monstrous performance for Joel Embiid. He did all the dirty work that they needed, clearing out space underneath and securing rebounds. Outside, Simmons. Tell me why do I gotta do better? You never knew, knew better. Light skin pushed to the side, dark hair, she go, shorty my, shorty my, stop. Uh, top down, shorty.